Okay. Real Babes retrieved her purse from their Airbnb and we are headed back to our house. Real Babes is going to head back this way, pick the girls up. They're all going to the Pueblo Supermercado. I am going to fight my iPad, try to get yesterday and the day before's video to finish uploading. And then I'm gonna come scoop up BJ. And then we're gonna go scoop up Mike. And then we're gonna go pick up hooks from Walmart. And then we're gonna go set some hooks for some Cayman and hopefully we'll, well we're gonna take snag rods too. So hopefully we'll get a Cayman tonight and if not, Hopefully one bites one of the set hooks in the next day or so. It is a new horse. Sketchy, yeah. flighty. Oh, the dogs hear us. Neighbor dog, how are you? There's Kaza. Have you guys been good today? Hello, Mr. Wiggles and Luna and Chaco. Well, hi, Mr. Wiggles. Chaco, or Kaza, stay down. I'm glad to see you. But I don't like dogs jumping on me and you don't even like cars. Hi, Wiggles. Hi, Luna. There's nobody else in there. Chaco, get out. Why do you guys want the Chaco, no! Get out! Okay, I'm eating some mango. I'm gonna go scoop up BJ and then scoop up Mike. Walmart back here, grab a snagging rods. And then we're heading to the Cayman Canals. We just came back from Walmart. We stopped at BJ's to pick up iguana. We're using his bait. Braided line to tie from the hook to the paracord. A light. What else was the Oh, and the hooks for the set hooks. Protein out of there. So, <laughs> <laughs> Extra protein. Extra protein. Okay, we got two snag rods rigged up. We're gonna go tie up a bunch of set hooks and see if we can shine and snag some caiman tonight. Don't know what we're gonna see. Um, we're going to a pretty productive area, but I don't know how heavy it's been getting worked lately. Okay, we got both rods rigged ready to go trying to get those secured and that's our iguana hunting pack this is the caiman pack okay and we're at the first caiman spot y'all y'all see any more i thought i saw a little glare in that grass but i wasn't sure those would be baby babies baby babies it, yeah. it looks really really small good. okay we've already spotted four caiman um babies well i'd say babies two foot um we walked up on one couldn't even get a cast before he submerged we're gonna go check out some more of the canal system before we start setting some set hooks um that guy's about two foot maybe a little more two foot yeah so like if I walked up in that grass and tried to get him, is it possible? Okay. okay, I think BJ is gonna go try to snag this little caiman. Yeah, there's a little caiman right there. I don't know if you can see with my light. I'll try to zoom in right now. But the reflection of his eyes are uh, glistening. So I'm gonna go try to get this. Piece. BJ is making his approach. Yeah, start walking towards the water. Maybe to your right, a little, three feet. He just went under. Yep. Oh, he went under? Yep. Oh yeah, right here. Horse. Okay, the one BJ was walking up on submerged. And, oh, I thought my light was on. That's the reflection. And there's another one over there. Um, that other one didn't pop up. I think we're gonna try to get up and shoot this one. We came out, we killed one caiman. I killed one brand new boot. It's full of water. And he's about five foot. So. Yeah, that's kind of cool. And luckily we got a cooler to put him in, no ice. But we got a cooler. That's pretty gnarly.
Interesting. And they don't have those in Nebraska? <laughs> the one thing I forgot was electrical tape. Oh, look fire. at him. He's missing a tail. Is Another that, came and bit that off. That's what I was looking at. So he was a little longer. <laughs> Okay, we spotted, or BJ spotted another one, small. We're going to go to try to kill that. Mike's going to babysit, make sure our new friend don't swim away on us. Because a dead came and will. They still have nerves and they'll still get away. BJ is going to try to shoot this little one. I'd shoot him sooner than later, Bo. Yeah, we were lucky on that first one because he wasn't looking at us. This guy's looking at us. No, behind the eye. He's facing shore. He's facing shore? Yeah. Okay. I'll let her rip. I didn't see a splash. Oh, there he is. There he is. He's back up. See his eye? Yep. Should I try again? Yeah. This. Is it this one? Yep. Charge it all the way back, and then all the way forward. Nothing's happening. Let's get up there and see what he's doing. They'll roll. You definitely, you know what I'm saying? Guys, this is definitely not a hit. No, he went down. Yeah, that first one was, or the first one we killed was ballsy enough to think he could take a horse. You know? Get out of the way. Hey, I got you. Good shot, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look. Okay, let's check that iguana meat. Okay. And see if it's thawed yet. Yeah. Okay, we just rigged up some set hooks and we're gonna go deploy those and then I'm gonna go wash all this bacteria off of me. Okay. Just hook it like this. Barb exposed. It's frozen, so it's like that um no they're gonna pull that off that's why it, it's tough to work with frozen so probably go like this way no do it like you did but go down deeper deeper and then pop out you're gonna try to bury that shank some try to go this way like that yep okay that's better push it through more Okay, now crawl down there. I'm gonna go to the other side uh -huh. to use my light to point the tree. Okay. And go ahead and throw it out into the center and then tie it to the tree. Yeah. Doesn't matter how high. As low as possible, buried under grass so folks don't see it and steal the caiman. Just like a regular knot. Whatever you can do a bowling, overhand, whatever is gonna secure it. Just like do three 
regular knots? Um, if you want. Okay, we're gonna put the second one out. You had it all. I don't know how you had it wrapped in there, but I didn't want to start pulling on it. And... Horses and stuff. Yeah. Second one. Shook right in the middle here. So they can't pull it off. That'd be perfect. And I don't want to short you on line. So take this with you. And you probably don't have to go down that far. Here, Should I go down right me, here? Want me to throw it? Yeah, sure. Here. You don't forget the reel. I just don't want to slip off this bank. Yeah. I might be able to go right down here to the right. Up. You want me to go down here to the right? No. Okay. I want you to give me a slap. Yep. So. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to give you a... Make sure it's going to free flow. Um, Hold on one second. We got a little bit of a tangle. I don't I don't need all that dude. You got enough line right here. Just okay. this? Yeah, just make sure it free flows. Okay. As long as you don't need this back here, you don't think. No, he got another three feet okay. right there right yeah, tied it. Okay. Good? So they'll dive down and eat it. Yeah. They just smell it, or they're just cruising no, the bottom. No, they'll smell it. Gotcha. They'll smell it. They'll see it. Gotcha. Good. Okay, I gotta go get this bacteria off. Okay. 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 Oh, thank you, Bob. You're welcome. It's in video. Oh, cool. Came in killing posse. Mount up. Yeah. That was cool. We got two set hooks, and we'll be back to check on those. We are flying back to get that cane in on some ice, y'all. Okay, we are back at BJ's to deal with the cane on. I'll pull up towards the back. Right. We're about to take care of this guy. Here, let me hand you that. Yeah. Um, he's like, oh, we're probably going to want some pictures with him. Okay. <laughs> Take him out here. I think there's more light. <laughs> okay. Oh. Well, we'll get him on ice yeah. and we'll clean him tomorrow. Lengthwise and girthwise. Well, female. Looks like she just laid eggs. It's bigger than I thought we were going to get tonight. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, I was like, I mean, those little ones, how big do you think those little ones were about? Two foot. Is that not yeah. the size of his tail? <laughs> uh, those little ones are two foot, maybe three. Gotcha. So this is kind of what we're going for? Yeah. Is there many of these in that little canal? Or um, oh, yeah, there's a ton. You like know what I'm saying? Size? Yeah, we didn't see a lot tonight. You generally, it's nothing but eyeballs. Hold it. No, yep. and then one more. Yep. Okay. Yeah, move his head like this. There we go. Yeah. Move his head like he's biting you. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Pretty laid 
In you go. Good. Anybody, yeah, anybody want a hand wipe? Yeah, I'll take um, it. Yeah, well, the iguana's still in there, is that all right? The iguana. Like um, yeah, we'll keep it in the bag. Okay. And uh, try to use it on set hooks tomorrow. Okay. Um, and here's your GoPro. Oh, thank you. And still going to. Okay, Mike and I are getting this guy iced down. Oh, we can probably just drop these on. That was just the thing. I just yeah. want to get one on top of them. Okay. And yeah, then, no, that one covered him pretty good. Okay. Going on this way. Okay. I'm heading over the bridge. Back to Islote. And I'm getting really close to taking a shower. Hello, doggy dogs. How are you? Chaco has dragged another dog bed downstairs. Chaco, we're not a fan of this. Okay, I wanted to touch base on the Cayman real quick. Now, we were walking up on a smaller Cayman that we had shined and we saw the eyes. And I almost walked right up on it. I got really close to the one we ended up shooting. And the only reason I was able to get that close and the reason we didn't see it is because he had his back to us. He was looking directly away from us because he was actually in the process. I keep saying he, but it was a female. She had just laid eggs. He or she was in the process of hunting a young colt that somebody had tethered out there. And I'm not sure you can see the horse on the video, um, but that's what he was doing or she was doing. And that's why, that's what was holding her attention as long as it did, which allowed us to get as close as we did and shoot her when we did. Okay, YouTube, your boy Wally is finally done with everything. I think it's about 2.30, almost three o'clock in the morning. Trucks packed, guns and all the gears ready. The Cayman hunting stuff's ready for tomorrow night. And I wanted to touch base on that Cayman, how we shot it. We were walking up, I had the gun, and we were going to shoot a little one that was close up on bank. We were shining and we could see its eyes. And I got maybe 20 feet away and I saw a dark shape. It was the back of the Cayman's head. And that's why we didn't see his eyes. He was looking away from us, so there was no shine reflection. And it offered me a perfect shot right at the base of the skull, into the spine and the brain. Poof, done, he rolled. Um, I don't know if BJ got it on film or not. My GoPro's handheld, it was in my pocket. I didn't get anything till afterwards. Um, I asked BJ to snag it, he went to snag it. The hook got foul hooked on some of that hydrilla stuff. And so I jumped in and grabbed it. And that water is full of bacteria. It's warm, stagnant water. It's just, it's terrible. Lots and lots of livestock around there. And it all runs into those canals. So it's terrible. And I got some open wounds on my knees and whatnot, legs. So we were in a hurry to get those set hooks out so I could get home and shower, which I finally just did. So, that video or this video will be coming out in the next couple days hope y'all enjoy it love y'all i am gonna go to bed because i think we're getting up about zero six hundred which means i'm gonna get about three and a half hours of sleep love you good night we'll see you tomorrow